Hello children, how are you? This is Amitabh sir from Great Mission Public School. Most of you might be knowing me, but junior students may not know my name. So I would be teaching you computer science classes during this lockdown period. Well, today I'm going to give you a basic definition of computer, though you might have learned from your previous classes. And I will explain you how computer works, what are the device attached to a computer to make it, it work. And from tomorrow onwards, we are going to go through chapter wise and I will explain you each and every topic of the chapter so that you would be well prepared for your coming exam. I would also be giving you some objective type questions on daily basis so that you can prepare yourself in a proper manner and if you have any problem regarding any topic you can message me personally or call me on my calling number. So let's start for the basic of computer. So student shall we start? Now let me show you the basic computer parts from a diagram or a picture. Now this is a computer system from Dell Corporation. Most of you might have heard this name. So a computer system is made up of computer monitor, computer keyboard, mouse and what is this called? Most of you might be saying this box as CPU which is wrong. This is computer cabinet or computer B. Inside this computer car cabinet we have different type of devices like DVD drive, floppy drive, hard disk, motherboard, RAM, graphics card and so on. Now let's walk through what we can see inside this computer cabinet. Okay, so this is the picture of the computer cabinet. How it looks like? Are you able to see it properly now? Now, if you look at the left portion of the computer cabinet, there is a filter or a ventilator which exhale or exit the hot air which is inside this computer cabinet. Now, how this hot air is formed? when we play computer games or when we watch movies or when we switch on our computer for long duration the CPU which works continuously gets heated up apart from that this hard disk when we say randomly save data it also gets heated up so in order to cool this computer cabinet and its parts, we require a ventilator so that the hot air goes outside from this cabinet. Now let's check what is inside this computer cabinet. So the basic device that we can check inside this computer cabinet are RAM which we call as random access memory or disk or hard drive where we can save our data and processor. Processor is nothing but it is a small rectangular chip where we have CPU which works continuously whenever we do some work. As you know CPU is the brain of computer. So let's check the next slide. So if we open that 
cabinet we can see some devices are attached inside this computer bay now this topmost portion is a rectangular black box which is called as SMPS or switch mode power supply now what it does is when we connect the main power source to a cable at the back side of this box it converts DC current to DC current DC means alternating current DC means direct current this direct current has a low voltage through which our computer system works. Now inside this box there is one more box which is called the, uh, the motherboard or the main board. This is called a heart of a computer. If you check it properly this section has RAM slot or random memory. If you check, there are four RAM which is attached to this main board or motherboard. There is one coolant fan, or we generally say it, a processor fan. I will show you the figure of the processor. Inside this or below this processor fan, we place a computer processor and whenever this processor heated up this processor fan acts as an exhaust fan it throws that hot air outside this computer beam apart from this board we can see there are different type of wires attached to it now these wires are called computer bus through which we can transfer different type of voltage to different computer parts. As you can see some wires are going to this area which is your DVD drive or CD-ROM drive where you can place your CD disc or DVD disc to watch movies or documentary. Apart from that, there are some wires which are going over here. This area is of hard disk or hard drive. Now, whenever we work on computer, we need to save a file. Now, those files are saved in hard disk. So, there are four hard disks attached inside this computer cabinet. This section is an optional part. Normally what we can see is saying, saying GTX 470. It is a device or peripheral which is attached to the main board and this device is called a graphics card. Those who are interested in playing games or doing some graphical designing we normally use to have a graphics card because a graphics card help uh, to work with different type of color images and it will make our work smoother now let's move to the next step to see different parts of computer. Now in the previous figure that we have seen some devices were attached inside this computer. So what are those devices? As I said this was an SMPS which will give you power supply from the main power source to different computer devices. This main source of power supply is first attached to motherboard and from here different wires are going and connecting to different peripheral devices such as 
floppy drive, hard disk, or optical disk. This one is DVD drive. This one is RAM. And as I told you about CPU, did you remember? So this is the main chip we call as processor. Inside this processor, we have a logical area which we call as CPU or central processing unit. So without this devices, your computer cannot work. And let's move on to the next figure. Let's see what we have there. So these things I will cover in the coming sections tomorrow. Uh, I think class third has hardware and software where I will discuss the basic hardware devices and software. Uh, same thing I have to cover up in uh, for class four and. For class 5th, I will discuss with computer generations, how many type of generation we have, to which, uh, uh, to which we can come across from a backers to artificial intelligence supercomputer. So, I am going to wrap up today's topic. And let me give you some basic learning pages which you can go through today itself so that whenever I cover up these topics tomorrow, it would be helpful for you to understand and based on the discussion that I do It would be helpful for you to understand my lecture and accordingly we can go further for three objective questions which will be helpful for you to gain good marks in EA and other exam. So let me tell you what I am going to cover tomorrow for the concern class. For class 3rd, I will take your first chapter as hardware and software of computer. This I will try to cover up in April and then I will move on to introduction of Windows 7. This these two chapters will come in your E1 exam. For class 4, I will be dealing first with input, output and storage devices where I will cover hardwares of input, output and storage devices. Then we will move on to Windows 7 Explorer, how Windows operating system looks like what we have in Windows Explorer Sim as uh, the, uh, in for PA1 examination I will these two chapter will come and you have to prepare for that for class 5th I would be first dealing with evolution of computer how computer evolved what are the generations of computer were there and what are today's computer, what are the different type of devices or machines invented, invented during this era. Then I will move to the next chapter which is on memory and storage devices. Uh, what are the type of memory do we have inside computer and what are the device we require to store our data. So, from 
compared to other two classes. I will also try to cover these two chapters for your PA1 exam. So student, please get ready for your upcoming exam. I will be giving you a screenshot of these pages so that you can read and you prepare yourself for tomorrow's lecture. So I will, I will be giving you first two or three pages of your chapter for every class and once we go smoothly during our lecture, I will try to ask you or I will try to give you some objective type question to solve which you can show me next day or you may show me in the evening. Do message me personally instead of sending those work in your group because if all students will send messages in your in your WhatsApp group, it will create a mess. So instead of doing this, you can send me personally on my WhatsApp number and do mention your name, class along with section and topic or the homework that I have given you for that particular day. Also mention the date of your task. So, student, we will start our main discussion for tomorrow. Stay tuned. You all have a wonderful